Good day, fellas. I hope you are ready for your daily dose of skill. And today we are going to play with a Type 4 Heavy. Tier 9 Meatball, the most beautiful tank to farm. I would not say the most beautiful tank to play with. Hear me out, fellas. We are playing with a competitive gun with this tank. We are playing with 600 alpha damage. And this is the right gun to play with a tank in order to be competitive. But you know what? If you want to see this tank in action with a derp gun and to meme around while penetrating lightly armored tanks and do well, well, feel free to like the video, fellas. Let's do like this. If this video is going to get 3000 likes, we are going to have a video when we are playing with a Type 4 Heavy, but we are playing with a derp gun. How about that? And it's not enough. We will try to get like... 4,000 uh, average combined over three games. How about that? I know I am digging a hole for myself, but, uh, well, you know, silently I feel like you do not want to see um, the derping action uh, um, going on with a tie for heaven, right? Silently. I feel this way. Anyways, all and all, what is the plan of this tank and how to play with this vehicle? First of all, in order to have a working Type 4 Heavy or in order to have the best time with a Type 4 Heavy, you kind of need to be a top tier, right? Because then armor actually matters. Whenever you are bottom tier or whenever you are playing with equal tiers, in this kind of situation you are playing against the uh, tier 10s or tier 9s, this tank is far away from being ideal. The DPM of the tank is kind of meh, the alpha damage is good, but what's from that if it is not so simple and so easy to use it, right? Um, because the traits are just simply... You will see everything yourself. If we are going to meet a gentleman who is willing to shoot the gold ammunition, we are going to be in a bit of the trouble and uh, we are going to suffer. But, but we are not going to give up without fight. My goal with this tank is to make it work across the three games, right? And to show you uh, the power of the Type 4 Heavy. Or maybe uh, to be simply optimistic and cross my fingers and hope for the best. Meanwhile, what do we have here? We have the phase one waiting until I'm going to bounce the shot out of him. You know, warning shot is, a, is important, fellas. I believe you are aware of that. <sighs> Type 4, come on. Come on, my man. You can do this. Let me penetrate. Oh, hi. Fellas, we met equal opponent. T95 while facing us via the ass. I would say that is quite a fair game, don't you think so? T95 showing ass first. I am feeling pretty great about this. By the way, I know the standard B is looking at me and I know he is stuck, but it is completely fine. This is exactly um, what I want to see, you know? And I hope this guy doesn't know that I see him. Well, now he knows. And that's how to throw the cover, fellas. We got this. We are going to make as much pressure as we physically and possibly can. Meanwhile, Centurion is running for his life, but little did he know the type for Heavy is having the uh, strong rounds and we are looking into his ass. We are doing great, fellas. So far, 2000 great start. We haven't lost any hit points whatsoever and we are booming. Is this tank idiot proof, you might ask? To be completely honest with you, to the certain extent, it is. Uh, if you are fighting against the enemies who doesn't have that much penetration, you know, you can feel, you can feel pretty well with this vehicle, right? You can feel like, yep, I'm ready to go and I'm ready to spank the living crap out of everyone. But you know what? It's not so simple. The thing is... There is many tanks who can literally be the living crap out of you. It's not the stock um, uh, standard B. Don't get me wrong. This tank is pretty much harmless for us. We are looking at him while being angry and we are uh, having a great time. Although we cannot say the same thing with a Fosh who is going with a full APCR loaded, right? This is definitely not so simple. But standard B, pff, we are chilling. Although, uh, the story would be completely different and Standard B would have a top gun, you know, then it would be a different story. But luckily for us, it's not the case. Now, I really want to spank the Sarta who is sitting around this area, but for now I need to be patient and I need to wait, okay? 
That's what we are looking for. Meanwhile, standard B, kaboom, straight in the face, 600, I am feeling very, very well. Although at this point I am down to fartable, Aka, I'm down to one-shotable. Now, this is where the fun is ending, because standard B is flanking us and I am dead. Okay, for a very first, fellas, for a very first pancake, for a very first game, I am going to be fine and I am going to survive this, you know? Warming up for the Type 4 Heavy. Looking into the score, it is not bad. Looking um, into the gameplay, it's not horrible whatsoever, but as you can see, uh, where the bouncing damage goes, well, this is where the fun ends. You are a big target, you are a big meat ball, what do you want, right? Uh, anyways, let's teleport to the scoreboard and let's cross our fingers for a victory. Okay, fellas, we are back. <clears throat> 3.8 thousand damage. 300 assisting damage. Believe me or not, we finish at second by experience and first by the damage. I'm not complaining. I am feeling very, very great about this. And we made 49,000 profits as well. Not bad. This is type 4 heavy for you. No, no. Let's see. Maybe second game is going to be better. I hope so. I want to have 4,000 average with this tank in this session. Can I do this? Let's go for the best. Okay, game. Okay. You want to challenge me? Challenge accepted. Type for heavy in Prokurovka. Let's try to make it work. So, what is the most important thing with any heavy tank in Prokurovka? I know there is plenty of the heavy tanks who are kind of... Whenever they are seeing this map, they are thinking, oh no, and they are hiding in the 1-2 line. Um, it's completely unnecessary. All we want to do, we want to go into the middle. We are going to be fearless. And we are going to show the dominance for the enemies. From the middle, we have a very, very, very good uh, side of line to the people playing 1-2 line. We have a very, very good angle towards the people who are playing 9-0 line. And overall, we are feeling very, very, very well. And even though this map can look scary, even though this map can look like it is like the worst um, time ever for us, we are going to be fine. And my mission in this map to do at least 5,000 combined with a Type 4 Heavy. You hear that correctly. 5,000 is what I am aiming for. So, the first things first. Slowly but surely we are tar -tar 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 to the perfect position for ourselves. And we are trying to kill this light tank with a blind shot. That's the first thing. Unfortunately, we are failing to kill light tank, but that is okay. Now look. All we need to do, we need to make sure we are paying attention from where Arta is shooting, right? This is kind of important thing for us. The main reason why am I saying so is because whenever we are going to figure out where enemy Arta is, we can try to beat the living crap out of this gentleman. That is important information, right? So let's pay attention. In the same time, if everything will go well, we should be able to punish people who are playing on top of the hill. In this kind of situation, T69. Beautiful 650 in the side. We were paying attention and we are getting tracking damage on top. I mean, to be completely honest with you, it is going to be quite hard to spot for us. So tracking damage works just fine. Now, that being said, I think I am very, very well aware of where Arta is sitting at. And there is one trick, fellas, how you can make yourself uh, uh, yourself day in Prokurovka field. You know what is the trick? Try to blind fire Arta where Arta usually is sitting at, right? And now we know where he is. We saw the tracer like this. And our goal is to spank the living crap out of the son of the banana. Not the easiest way to do the things, but we will try to do our best. To that side, unfortunately, we are missing the shot, but we are going to be very, very fine. Good. Good, fellas. Good. We know the direction where Arta is sitting at, right? That's all we need. Information is clear. Mm-hmm. Pay attention over there, fellas. I know where Arta is. And Arta probably knows I know where he is. He relocated. He's sitting right there. Four seconds to go and we are going to send him back to the garage. How about that? <laughs> if you're wondering where my shot went, I actually hit the ridge line here, which is completely fine. We cannot complain about this. Come on. Arta needs to die. Arta needs to die, fellas. Yeah, I know I'm losing some hit points and Arta is dead. Excellent. Now... 
we gave so much advantage for our teammates. It's absolutely madness, fellas. Now our team just needs to play via the time, you know, and just take their sweet time while beating the living crap out of everyone who will try to attack. Now you might think, but, 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 but skill, how you done it? There is nothing extraordinary what I have done in this game or how I blind shoot at that art. Just make sure to follow the lane of the tracers and you are going to be completely fine, right? This is very important thing to highlight. Meanwhile, there is a pixel shot here. Beautiful pixel shot. Chair footer is going back to the garage. Excellent. And now at this point, we should be all right because we have a chance to spot the enemies and we have a chance to spank them. As an example, there is a pixel shot over there, which we will take our time to hit. And oh boy, so oh boys, minus 650 in the face. I'm telling you, I have no panic whatsoever whenever I'm playing Prokurovka field. Even though Prokurovka is, once again, quite hated map by a lot of heavy tank players, it is not that bad, fellas. Believe me. There could be significantly worse, okay? As an example, Kempinovka, right, in my humble opinion, is significantly worse than Prokurovka. Prokurovka is actually pretty good uh, map for a heavy tank, especially whenever you know what you are doing. All you need to do, you need to take the middle. If you will take middle, you will chill and you will enjoy yourself and you will have a blast. Now, I do not really think this TN Hush will make any pressure whatsoever. I think at this point this gentleman shit his pants. I truly don't think he's going to be aggressive. That being said, we are going to retake the middle at this point. Middle is the place to be and middle is the right play. That being said, from the middle, we should be able to say hello for this T832, for Mr. Fosh and for this T54 Echo 1. I have a feeling we have good enough angle. And the thing is, since enemy Arta is dead, at this point we are definitely chilling, you know? At this point we are enjoying ourselves. Hi! Type 4 Heavy. Fellas, Type 4 Heavy. I'm telling you, even though you are a mid ball with this tank, um, to the certain extent you can make this vehicle work. Uh, it doesn't matter how ridiculous it sounds, it's actually the case. Meanwhile, hi, bam in the side. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Another 600 in the face, that's very, very nice. We know where SMV is sniping from, which is completely fine for us. And now we are going to try to find the nice angle to punish this Mr. Fosh. And believe me, we will. Now the question is, will the gun treat us well or not? Oh my bananas, gun of the type for heavy for this alpha damage. It looks pretty rock solid. Very nice. I know this guard is sniping from somewhere over there. I do not care. Believe me or not, I do not really care uh, that this guard is sniping us. I, I just don't mind, you know? Hmm... Mr. Borat in the back, we will take our time to aim for our shot and we are going to spank him. Another 669 in the face. I mean, fellas, what did I said in the start of this game? That I am not going to panic, that I am going to try to do my best, and it doesn't matter what map we are having, we are just simply holding our balls in the hand and we are making it work. How about this? How about this? Hi there. Having a good time? Me too. 600 in the face. You see, Prokurovka is not a problem even for a tanks like Ty 4 Heavy. Uh, I think in the same time that this shot, whenever we killed Arta, was very, very important for our team. If not this shot, I believe um, we would have significantly worse time because obviously Arta would be able to be the living crap out of our teammates and of us in the same time. I would be probably priority target, first of all, because I am playing with a big boy who is getting spotted in the middle of the time, all the time, right? And in the same time, because um, if Arta has XVAM, well, I am priority target either way, since I do not have uh, since I do not use anonymizer for people to meet me, to say hi, to message me after the game, and to say GG skill, I got you, or GG skill, um, you spanked me. You know, that's why. Look at this performance. Five 
0.3 thousand damage, 2.4 thousand assisting damage. If it is not a great score, then I do not know what is, fellas. This is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful performance from our side. We are top by the damage, we are top by ex uh, by experience, right? And we got 48 thousand profits. What a beautiful game that was. And this shot to the Arta, beautiful. This is how you are countering Arta, fellas. What a great game this was. <sighs> Type for heavy and rated question mark? And the last but not least, we are having Serene Coast uh, game. Now, this is going to be quite a hard one to figure out how to make it work. Now, why am I saying this game is going to be a hard one? Because I don't really think I have enough time to get into the Charlie 1 position with this tank. I'm just simply too slow. So, I need to think out of the box how to play this game. And I am thinking about going straight through the middle. I know it sounds very, very uh, weird. Why would I even consider doing this, right? But I think this is the correct play. And you will see that um, in the middle of the game. By the way, I'm not pushing like this with a type 4 heavy because someone will take this position and he will farm me like there is no tomorrow. So I just simply cannot afford it. Although what I can do, I can be a bit aggressive here and I can try to make as much pressure as I physically and possibly can. Uh, quite sad story that we are getting punished by the guy sitting here, but that is okay. Now, first things first. This T69, he made a mistake. What we are going to do for the mistakes for the, uh, from the enemies, we are going to claim their life like there is no tomorrow, right? That's what we are going to do. Skill, that is an excellent start. I'm glad you are enjoying yourself to that level and you are making everything work. Especially that shot on the T69 skill, that was awesome. Now, hear me out, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. I know that looks like absolutely awesome game. I did my best and I'm feeling very, very happy how I play this battle. Skill, are you sarcastic? Yes, I am. It did not pay off. It did not pay off, especially when this phase one is just simply moving through the middle like crazy mother trucker and there is nothing what I can change about this. But you know what? One shot to the phase one like this and the mouse is coming. Phase one is coming. Light tank is going sideways like this. Oi, 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 oi. And on top of that, the, um, the crown of all this goes for me being armor act. So, yeah, that looks that looks like a big fat problem for us. But you know what? We are not going to give up. But skill, this is a bad start. It is a bad start. You are 100% correct about this. It is very, very, very disgusting start. But I do not really think I can change something about this. What is the chance this mouse is baboon? What is the chance this mouse is baboon? There is only one way to figure out the things. Sir? Sir? We found, we found the baboon. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, we found the baboon. You know what? I am feeling pretty okay. Miscuse, my man, I did not mean to hit you. I do not know what happened. I would say Katite was controlling my keyboard. I'm so sorry about this. Uh, that wasn't intentional and I would never, ever, ever in my life hit baboon. I would never do something like this. That is, that is just disgusting. I would say this is borderline disgusting, fellas. Meanwhile, what I would love to see, I would love to see this was a peaking like this and dying. Excellent, Vaza is dead. <laughs> what a game this is, fellas. I should be dead long time ago, okay? I should be dead long time ago, but for some reason I'm still alright. And you know what? I have a feeling this mouse is going to get gangbanged at this point, and uh, there is absolutely nothing what I can change about this apart uh, giving him moral support. Actually, no, this gentleman is still feeling pretty okay. He doesn't mind, fellas. Looks like he's enjoying the session and looks like he's enjoying the show himself. That's good. There is like five guns which are looking into the mouse like this, you know, and they are smiling. So, yeah, if I would be in his place, I would be a bit paranoid. Meanwhile, Swiper is flanking us like this and Chieftain is about to make pressure. I need to keep this in mind, fellas, that this Chieftain will make a pressure in a moment. Here we go. Chieftain is making pressure. I'm trying to block the shot and I am dead. It definitely did not pay off. Well, the last game was the weakest, which is quite sad thing, but it is how it is. Um, all in all, 
I really want to highlight the main idea why I haven't made a pressure, right? Going like this, it would take forever and ever, and if enemies have someone who are playing here, it would be a problem. Now, going to the middle, I lost a lot of the hit points, which definitely did not pay off. I took one from uh, for, um, uh, for the team from Liz, from Scorpion, and for Amoeic 65 and Leo. So, this crossing pretty much costed for me 1.5 thousand damage, which is like half, actually two-thirds of my hit points. That was the worst one. But... It happened. What can I do? You know, I am being honest. Sometimes it happens like this. And going to this side, I can tell you one very important thing that whenever someone is playing here, and I love to play there, this is absolutely amazing. The thing is, from this position, you can counter literally everyone who is making pressure like this. So that's why I push it out to the to the certain point. But it is how it is. Let's see the score. We are back with a sad smile on our face. 2.3 thousand damage, 600 assisting damage. We are fourth by experience by going through, low, low through the middle, which is laughable. We are third by the damage, and this is the score which we have. Plus, on top of that, we made 11,000 credits. Listen, fellas, my goal with this tank was to get 4,000 combined this session. I got 3.8 thousand damage, 1.2 thousand assisting damage, and we played for 5,000 combined. I do not know what to say. Uh, hip, hip, hooray, great success and great session with the Type 4 Heavy. I hope you were very, very well entertained. I hope you enjoyed yourself. And some sessions are better than others. And that's what we have in this vehicle. So thank you very much for watching. And see you very, very soon. Skill is out for today. Peace.